What's cracking, guys? On more eSoftware. Back with the couch. Jeremy, what's going on, my man? Nothing. Just sitting here with you. <laughs> Dude, I understand you just did a recent meet and you hit actually a big bench PR. What did you hit? I hit 529 or 240 kilos. Yep, and what was the uh, best bench PR before that? It was 518. Okay. And now, the thing that I want to talk about maybe today, is some of these numbers just exist and we hear them and people are like, holy shit, like a 500 pound bench press. But there was a time uh, when actually your bench press and your other movements were stuck and maybe it would be more relatable to everyone else out there where they are, uh, you know, uh, where you were stuck, I believe it was a 405 bench press, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I was stuck at 405 once for a long time. Yeah. But I was also stuck at, I remember 285 for yeah. like probably a full year. Yeah. And it took me a long time to hit 300. And what was the change then, uh, Jeremy? Because you said there's been numerous points, but in particular maybe for this bench, uh, what did you do differently? Your whole training approach. I remember I was stuck at 405 for a long time. And to get to 440, I switched to like, uh, you know, high frequency, low volume, high intensity approach. Okay. So. Rather than like working myself to exhaustion and then coming back when I could and uh, just doing it all over again, I was like, I was doing one very kind of heavy set, that's a heavy set of three, and then one little light back off set, and I was doing it about three or four times a week. Right. And you said, uh, so before the squat every day, there's pretty much bench every day. Yeah. Uh, you were speaking in percentages. We're actually going to relate this back over to your deadlift too, because at the same time, uh, when you switched, to a higher uh, frequency approach, you also did the same thing with your deadlift, right? Yeah, so the reason I switched over is because my deadlift was stuck at 585. Yeah. It was stuck there for a, a long time. I couldn't pull 600 no matter what. So I just looked for something different to do. So I went to like a high frequency approach and uh, I'd work up to like somewhere around 75% for like a triple. Yeah. And then one back off set and uh, I'd add like, I'd go like up 10 each week. I do four steps forward and three steps back. So yep. just a wave over and over and over. Yep. And uh, that ended up getting me over 600. I remember I pulled 635 from doing that. But I was pulling four times a week. Yeah, and that's actually something pretty crazy because when you say uh, you got stuck at particular points, you told me before that you were stuck, it was 585, and that you tried to pull numerous times before maybe switching over your approach to uh, 600 pounds. You failed, right? Yeah, but at that point, it was just getting like still kind of like maybe gains. Right. So like whatever, I, I just put whatever on the bar and pull it till I could and then stop. And then every few weeks, I'd have like a new max kind of thing. And uh, every time I put 600 on the bar, I was just failing. Sure. Yeah, but I probably failed like five or six weeks in a row until I was just like, fuck it, yeah. I didn't know what to do, so I had to find a new approach. Did you just randomly find it, Jeremy, or just like felt like you're searching for different approaches and it kind of clicked with you, or? Uh, just reading through uh, Pavel Satsuman yeah. and uh, his stuff, like Power to the People. Sure, like Reason the Groove. Yep, and Beyond Bodybuilding and all his stuff. Easy Strength, another good book. This is an infomercial yeah. for Pavel. Yeah. No, I was going to say, uh, Jeremy, now, how about some of the same approaches uh, today? What has carried over since that point in time many years ago to now? Do you still employ some of the similar things and maybe like a little auto regulation, like some high yeah. frequency? Yeah, absolutely. So I think doing this and learning this method was kind of like that. It took me out of the mindset of fully exhausting myself and into the mindset of uh, perfect heavy practice and lifting as heavy as I could as often as I could. So that means like lifting something really heavy, not killing yourself so you can come back in again like three days later and repeat it. Yeah. Yeah. So like there's a time and a place for everything and lifting lifting until exhaustion and uh, waiting till you can come back in for all the muscles to rebuild. That's more like to me like an off-season approach. So. Sure. Best advice that you always give when you say like at the seminar, remember you said this, people come up to you like at the pro show or whatever and they ask like, like Jeremy, how do I get strong? And you said basically do the same thing for 10 to 15 years a lot yeah. and you'll get stronger. Pretty much. Yeah. Pull, pull up a chair, do it for 10 years and your genetics will probably dictate the rest. Yeah, like there are no uh, uh, shortcuts. Like last year, your bench was what? At uh, Boss Bosses 2? Uh, 518. Yeah, and this year it's like 529. Yeah, so it's 11 uh, pounds. <laughs> 11 pounds. Yeah. But you do that in enough years. Yeah, the year before that, I think it was like 506. Sure. The year before that, I think it was like 501. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, pretty much so, 10 pounds a year. Yeah, just a little more each year. Jeremy, if you had to kind of say something in conclusion about what you learned, some of the wisdom over the years, it'd be what? It'd be uh, off season or uh, away from a meet, you know, lift to exhaustion and build your muscles as big as you can. But in season, you know, you know, building volume is really good, but that's not the end goal, and it's to lift very heavy weight. So, 
you know, when you're coming into a meet, lift as heavy as you can, as often as you can. Sure. And while staying as fresh as you can. Yeah, like injury free as well too. Yep. So you don't have to kill yourself all the time. Perfect. Well, Jeremy, thank you so much for being in the video. Uh, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, uh, Jeremy Hamilton's wife. Okay. And what's next for you? Get stronger and uh, go back to 220 and rounds. Nice. I need a whole lot of cookies along the way. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. Comment below what else you want to see next, and I'll be seeing all you guys in my rascals in that next video. Peace. <laughs>